hi friends you're welcome back to my channel thank you for clicking on that channel so today this series we are on this is the blouse series for those that have subscribed thank you for subscribing and for those that are just dropping in please make sure you subscribe we have a lot to share on this channel this is our blouse series in fact it is our half length blouse series we have another series that is for the full blouse different styles that you can make with the full blouse and then we also have the trouser series so on the the last class we had we drafted the basic pattern for the half length that is from your shoulder to your to your, to your waistline from the shoulder to your waist that is the half length and then we drafted for the front and we also drafted for the back remember this is the back pattern we drafted so i've gone ahead to add the sewing allowance just to show you that you can add the sewing allowance then on this side you have your zip so from the slant from the intake here you add one inch here for your zip you can also change your neckline to the desired length and then on the bottom side you have you add half inch for sewing allowance to join it to your peplum or your gown or anything you want to join it to then on this side here you should leave up to two or two and a half inches because definitely this top is going to have a lining so you should leave up to two and or two and a half inches for this so i will not waste your time with the drafting so this is the front part of the draft this is the front part of the draft so um i did not finish it up because i would like to show you some things if you want to see the basic pattern please check the video this is the series two the, the, the basic pattern is the first and this is the second on this series we are still going to do a lot with this half pattern we are still going to change it to the two top today we are changing it we are making a princess dust bustier the last one we made was just the basic but now we want to have a princess that bustier on this pattern so the other ones will have a tube and then it goes on like that so now i will just quickly go over this to refresh your memory this is the starting point this is the chest line then we went we constructed our armhole here is the bust point here is the bust point and here is the length of the top the length of the top so we have one more line we need to input because when it comes to when it comes to tops that are contoured when you have it fitted then you have to take in some darts from the underbust so from the top here i'm going to mark the underbust line and the underbust line here is 4.5 the underbust line is 4.5. Remember in our measurement video, I showed you how to take your measurement, the bust point, the bust separation, and the underbust. So this is where we need the underbust. This was not in the basic draft, but we need it here because we, the style we are making is a bit fitted. It's going to be fitted, yes, a bit fitted. So now, when it comes to intake of that from the underbust we have different method but on this channel i only work with two methods so on the half length i'm going to teach you one method and then when it comes to the full blouse i'm going to use the other method i want to let you know that both method they work perfectly well it depends on what you prefer but i just want to show you the two method so on this draft here i'm going to use one method which is the straight dart intake and on the other blouse series where we have the full blouse from the shoulder to the waist i'm going to use the other method so you can check the blouse the other full scale blouse for the other method you can use that other method you can use it for this one too it works perfectly well so now we are going to take in the bust the bust separation which is four four the, the four we divided the bust um, separation by two and then we got four so you are going to rule it this way 
and then for the intake for this design now for this design i'm going to take the difference between the bust and the under bust measurement so whatever the bust measurement is just minus the under bust from the bust if you minus the under bust from the bust and you get five now you since we are drafting half of it then it means you are going to use 2.5 now if you minus your under bust from your bust point and you get six you're going to divide six by two and get three so that is what we are going to use please don't use more than three if you divide your under bust if you minus your under bust from your bust and you get seven or you get you get seven please still use three still use three or if you get less than three you get if you get two like this um, draft now the difference between the bust and the under bust for this draft is six i want to use six that is the maximum you should use six so what i'm going to do is on the center front here i will mark one inch here and on the other side i'll put the two inches that means that that is three that means we have used up the difference between the under bust and the bust for the, which is six three is on this side remember we are drafting half of the front so three will be on the other side if after dividing your own value you have two you can have half inch on this side and 1.5 here you can even have one inch here and one inch here just make sure that you distribute it and preferably let the smaller value be on this side half inch or one inch on this side then you can place the other value on this side so the same measurement i'm going to take on the waist half one inch here and then two inches here so now i'm going to rule it up this way and rule it up this way so since we are making the princess that bustier what you need to do is you need to take the half you will take the you will take the half you will look for the half the midpoint of your armhole here and then you will connect that midpoint i want to use this place you will connect it to the bust point like that please make sure you use a straight line don't make it too curvy and then you will come down by 1.5 here Come down by 1.5 here and then connect that 1.5 still to the bust line this way and then on that same line since you came down here by 1.5 you have to put the 1.5 all the way you have to increase it by 1.5 from this place so that by the time you cut and sew this part will not be small there is a way it just reduces the measurement but once you add the 1.5 then it will be complete then you will use your curve ruler to create a new armhole you just join it here to the you just join it here to the bust point this way this is just to to increase the shortage here so that you don't have any shortage then coming back to this point here you have to we have to curve the bust line so here is the curve ruler you are going to use just put it like this make sure the points are meeting up like that to the bust for this side and then on this side make sure that your curve ruler make sure it's touching almost it doesn't have to touch see it doesn't have to touch this point but make sure it is close to it and just use your eyes to just eyeball it and make sure that the make sure that the curve you have is straight you can see that it's curve it is not pointy at any point so that is it for the princess that please don't forget that on this bust line here we need to add the difference between the front and the back measurement remember here we are doing a bust 
here okay but before we do that let's input our measurement so here we put the the waist we put the waist measurement here already we have the bust here and then from the bust here we need the waist measurement so the waist measurement we are using here is waist 32 32 divided by 4 will give us 8 so from here we have 8 but remember we have taken 3 off so remember to put the 3 back and then we'll connect that 3 to the bust line like that so that is it please when you are drafting your pattern at times probably because of the measurement your drafting may be may not be exactly like this yours can even curve this way please just leave it like that you don't have to say oh it doesn't look like her own just make sure that you use the proper measurement by the time you cut off the dart everything will align properly so from here let's take in our difference between remember that the difference between our front and back for this draft was 1.5 so don't forget to put your bust that because if you don't put your bust that then it means the front length will be longer than the back length so remember that on this side here on the on the pattern here we came up by half inch so that we don't have any squeeze on the waistline that was what we did on the basic bodies just like that not to have any squeeze so basically that is all for the arm old princess that but before we go i want to cut it out and show you something that is equally very important so we want to close i want to close this bust that here and before you can close this bust that you have to open another that so i'm going to open this center that here i want to close this one so this is what you do you open it up and then you close the bust that this way So now that I've closed the bust that, you will notice that this line here is not joining properly. I will just come with my ruler here and I will just blend it up. Just blend it up like that and that is fine. Your bust that, you have to tape it down because when transferring to fabric, it has to be closed like that so when that is done then you can cut off you can cut off your that and cut it off so i just want to cut it off so that you can see how it looks so be very careful when you are cutting your your darts. Make sure you follow the line. And please, when you are drafting, use pencil to draft. I'm only using marker because this is a tutorial. Please use your pencil so that you can erase it off if you make any mistake. Ooh, and erase it off when you make any mistake. So here, I'm going to cut off the side. So you can see the the draft is looking beautiful. So you can you can alter the neck pattern to your desired neck pattern. The next, the next class we'll be having, I'll, I'll make sure I alter the neck so that you see that you can alter it to any other pattern. V neck. Or, so this is what we have. Can you see this is what we have? So by the time we join it, you can see it's coming out, it will come out very 
beautiful so that is all for the i'm all princess that so if you're a beginner please don't it's not difficult just watch it and try and look at it properly you'll see that it's not difficult so if you actually want me to put this on the fabric and make a, a top out of it just put on the comment section just say put on fabric put on fabric put on fabric and i will do that please if you have not subscribed this is the time for you to subscribe because from here we are going to draft another pattern and this time around it's going to be a tube top so thank you for watching have a nice day